Hello everyone, I'm Lou Baldan and I'm here today to share with you my research about a strategy to increase the number of adoption in a Brazilian shelter dog. As we all know, the abandonment is a worldwide issue. It's uh, also a mo multifactorial problem that uh, generates a negative impact, not only in animal welfare, but also bring risk to public health, right? But what can we do against abandonment? As we all know, the output of the shelter is what? It's adoption, right? So what can we do besides adoption? Uh, do we have to think about it. Uh, what else could we do in our shelters? So the aim of this study was to create a new strategy, adoption programs, but how? By adapting and applying to international programs from Medis Foundation in Brazil with different names. Uh, Field Trip was renamed as Passeio para Adoção, or just PA, and the Sleepwalker was renamed as Lara Dotivo or just LA. And these uh, two programs were officially launched in Brazil with a partnership between the City Hall of Curitiba and the Federal University of Paraná in Paraná State to increase the adoption rate and decrease the return rates of shelter dogs. And the data were collected for one year was uh, from October 2022 to September 20, 2023. This study was carried out at Center of Reference for Animal at Risk, which is a municipal shelter from Curitiba City. The study included 68 dogs that were ready for adoption and also privileged prepared with human-dog interaction and training to have these dogs ready for walking and sleeping out of the shelter without putting any volunteers in risk. We were able to count on 20 dogs participating in the programs due to the choices of the shelter's staffs. So the LA is the program in which the dog can leave the shelter to sleep in a volunteer home. So in order to participate in this program, um, the volunteers feel, need to fill out the Google Forms, as you see in, um, in the picture. Uh, which was available on the shelters and the research social media. And after the, the volunteers has been accepted, the schedule were uh, set by the shelter staff. And the volunteers could pick up the dogs to spend uh, a night out of the shelter for a maximum of seven nights, okay? And the volunteers after that return the dogs to the shelter. And here 
we can see some dogs from the LA program. It's living and enjoying the volunteers' home. Uh, I have a question for you. Do you think that these dogs were adopted? So the results, I will show it to you later on, okay? And for the PA program, the volunteers fill the same forms, the Google forms, and once they were accepted, they could pick up the dogs, but this time not for uh, sleeping, but this time to take them to the restaurants, to stores, parks, and etc. Et and uh, they could stay with the dogs for about six hours. And after that, the volunteers return the dogs to the shelter. And in PA program, dogs leave the shelters, the shelter, uh, wearing a vest that says "Adopt me," or in Portuguese "Me adote." It was uh, it was a way that they can be seen by the society, increasing their chance of adoption. And here we can see some dogs from PA program at restaurants and parks. And for security, they also wear a name tag that says, uh, this is all new for me, please do not let me out of the leash, do not feed me too many with um, human food, make sure that uh, you're going to take me back to the shelter on time for my dinner. And please take a lot of pictures and videos because that may help me find my forever home. And uh, if something wrong happened, please call the number on the back of this tag. They know how to help me. In the PA program, I also ask to the volunteers fill out a report that might help the shelter know uh, better each dog because the report included the behavioral aspect, interaction with other people or other animals, uh, what the dog's preference. And one thing it's important to mention and that um, the volunteers' answers were through their perception. Uh, they were not previously trained. Here we can see the results from the report. Okay, so here what the volunteers describe uh, as a behavioral aspect. So as we can see, more than 73% were um, the dogs, right? Were um, lovely, cute, um, affectionate. 6% um, were considered uh, polite, behave. 40% were sociable, friendly. And as we can see in this table, um, there's no at all any bad word to describe behavioral aspect. And here are the results about interaction with other people and other animals. So more than 86% met other dogs during the, the, the trip, the walking. 6% um, met children. 
And one dog met another uh, another animal, a cat. And also uh, some vol volunteers just d describe from their perception how was the dog feeling. So here we have like one saying that, oh, I love playing with children, ch children, sorry. I behave very well at home. I did make a mess. I like lie, uh, lay down close to humans and getting a lot of affection. Petting, right? And here are the results about dog's preference. So as you see um, on the table, we ask about a lot of things. If dog like um, uh, stay outside, outdoors, if the dog like to swim, play with toys, run. And we have here that uh, 11 dogs from 15 uh, like to go for a ride. We have 13 from 15 that's, uh, that like to be outdoors. And also we have five from 15 that like to go hiking. So it's really important uh, to know dog's preference, right? That can help about uh, to find uh, a perfect or the match, right, in adoption um, program. And here we have the frequency of the number of walking. Walking means that uh, the number of the dogs that uh, participate on the PA program, right, and who uh, and which one was was adopted. So as you can see here, we had 12 from 15 dogs were adopted, 80% and three from 15 were not adopted, okay? But we have at least 80% of a positive result in this uh, PA program. And here uh, I bring the results from uh, LA program, okay? So remember LA, the, the program that the dogs can um, go for sleep out of the shelters, right? With uh, volunteers. And here are the results the frequency of the dog of dogs from LA that were adopted and also were adopted by the same volunteer, right? So it's really nice to show you that we have a hundred percent that the dogs that participate in this program were adopted. And also seven from nine were adopted by the same volunteer that took the dog out of the shelter for this program. So um, it's a really, really positive result from this um, LA program, from adoption program. And for discussion and conclusion, we all know that the shelter is a very, very stressful place for the animals, right? And these programs were really important and fundamental as a new strategy, right? Because what we the end of this study was increase the number of adoption and decrease the number of returns, right? And uh, we noticed that this program helped with adoption, avoid returns, and also helped on animal uh, welfare, right? 
As we could see in the results, both programs was uh, really good to help um, in adoption, right? To help on animal welfare, to avoid returns. And when we look at the LA program, uh, dogs, when dogs went out of the shelter, they could sleep better, right? And the volunteers could spend time with the dogs before the adoption process. And that helped a lot. And when we look at the PA program, um, the really important thing in this program is that the dogs could be seen by society out of the shelter, right? Because in Brazil, um, the people don't visit the shelter very often. So this, um, this program um, help a lot in that issue. And also the dogs could, um, could have a new experience, right? Out of the shelters. So that's it. And I would like to thank you very much to having me here in this very important conference. And if you have any questions, please let me know. You can reach me by email, by social media, or by WhatsApp. Okay, so thank you. Thank you very much.